Hey guys! How's it going? I'm Aron. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I sculpt this stylized hair in ZBrush. So after watching this video, you'll be able to sculpt any stylized hair you want for your characters. But before starting, there's something that I'm gonna talk about. In my Instagram account, um, many of you have been asking me about how to make realistic hair. So I found a really good course for you. In this course, you can acquire a higher level of skill in creating complicated hairstyles using Action. Firstly, you'll get familiar with Action and learn the tools. Secondly, you'll learn how to analyze different hairstyles and understand the rules of hair modeling. And finally, you'll have a case-based training to create hair for characters in different genders and with different hairstyles. In a nutshell, you know, if you want to learn modeling realistic hair like Disney hairstyles, I recommend this course. So guys, I put the course link and also coupon code for 15% off in the description below. Tap on the link and visit the website. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe me to get notified whenever I publish a new sculpting tutorial in my channel. Let's get started! First, I create a base hair, so I append a sphere, move it to the right place, change the size of brush and start moving this base hair like this. I also use a standard brush for the center of the base. Then guys, for creating stylized hair in ZBrush, I usually use Curve 2 brush and I draw a curve like this and then I can move these curves just like this also you can go to stroke menu and in curves option you can lock the start of this curve and then start moving it and whenever you're happy with it you can just left click on the base hair and then you can use smooth brush and start smoothing these curves and also again you can move them just like this. For giving this style to the hair, I usually use edge polish brush, standard brush sometimes, and inflate brush, and also damp standard brush. And you can see that uh, first I use edge polish brush, just like this. And then with them standard brush, I create these lines just like this. And since I do these things with low resolution, for the next step, you can first hit the Ctrl D to divide the shape and then start sculpting again with the brushes I introduced to you. And as you can see, we are starting to have a smooth stylized hair just like this. And as you can see, I'm still using edge polish brush, damp standard brush to create these lines. And if you'd like to make the part of the hair bigger than other parts, you can use inflate brush for this. But uh, in this step, I'm okay with this and I'm really happy with this. So after I'm done with it, I just use smooth brush to smooth the whole shape. brush and draw a line just like this to create other parts of hair just like this and do exactly the same process that I explained to you for every single part of the hair and in the middle of this uh, you can also turn off and turn on uh, activate symmetry 
and do this stylizing without symmetry. And without symmetry for the hair, the result would be so better and natural. I just sculpted the first part of the hair for you because I just wanted to show you how it works um, and how you can use these brushes to for every single part of the hair and sculpt them but when you want to start creating hair just like this first of all it's better to create all parts of the hair and just use smooth brush and move brush uh, to move them to the right place just like this and when they are still in the low resolution try to use edge polish brush and uh, topology move brush and also damp standard brush and sculpt them as much as you can and then for the next step you can use ctrl D and divide the hair parts so that you can have smooth parts and then again use those brushes and start sculpting them and give style to them just like this uh, guys let me tell you something um, using this curve to brush for creating stylized hair in ZBrush is so easy for me and definitely there are some other ways that you can use them to create these parts for the hair and then start sculpting them 
um, you can just try every one of them and see that um, which way you're happy with and then use it but before that I suggest that you use the scarf tube brush because you're gonna love it and remember this point that if you want to have a bigger shape or even smaller shape by using this scarf tube brush you can first change the size of the brush and then start drawing those curves or another way is that after drawing those curves you can change the size of the brush and then click on the curve guys remember for using this curve to brush at first you need the base mesh without any subdivision so as you can see for creating these smaller parts of the hair first i append the sphere and then use this curve to brush to draw these curves and after that i just delete the sphere and then i continue drawing these curves for creating hair parts just like this of the hair I just start moving them and remember I turned off symmetry and then start playing with these new parts of the hair for moving these hair parts you can use move topology so that you'll be able to move only one part of the hair so guys I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial I'm gonna upload the full process of this character sculpting as soon as possible. So if you like my videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe me to get notified for new sculpting tutorials weekly. And also, if you'd like to see more short tutorials from me, you can follow my Instagram account that I put the link in the description below. So thanks for watching, see you soon!